An update this morning in the search for seven-year-old Oregon boy Kyron Horman and a new twist involving his stepmother. CBS News correspondent Bill Whitaker reports. Do you have anything to say? Do you know where Kyron is? Terry yes, Horman's no. stepmother of missing second grader Kyron moved out of the Portland home she once shared with husband Kane and their children like after reaching a court settlement this weekend. She was spotted Saturday in Roseburg, Oregon, where her family lives. You're on private property. I would just stay back right now. She was seen driving away with her father. With Terry out of the house, Kane Horman now has moved back in. He left June 26th after learning from investigators that Terry allegedly had hired a landscaper to kill him. In yet another twist, Kane Horman now says he suspects there might be another person along with his wife connected to his son's disappearance. In an email interview with the Oregonian, Kane said, quote, based upon briefings, he firmly believes that someone else is involved. According to court documents, Terry developed a sexual relationship with her husband's high school friend, and Kane, in the documents, accuses Terry of attempting to kidnap the couple's 20-month-old daughter from a local gym. Today marks the 45th day since Kyron Horman vanished from Skyline Elementary School. Over the weekend, Kyron's parents visited the school where the seven-year-old was last seen. The community has helped create a memorial wall of hope in Kyron's honor. It's great to see everyone supporting Kyron. Uh, that's why we're all here to find him, and it's, it's very overwhelming for us uh, to come here in a good way. Terry Horman has not been named a suspect, but she remains the focus of the investigation. Bill Whitaker, CBS News, Los Angeles.